Hi, I'm Chris Adkins, C2FL Capital Finance. I'm here with Paul DeRosco, our head of underwriting. As you think about like the personal side, right? So it's a lot about the systems and how we how we do things. But as you think to kind of the human side, what are we what are we going for there? We are trying to be extremely transparent with our prospects, and in fact, shockingly transparent. And and what that leads to is trust. While we're moving very quickly, we want and need uh, the prospect to also be you know, proactive and move quickly with us. And is that normal in the space? Not at all. There are fees that aren't discussed, or perhaps there is a process or a, you know, maybe a hurdle or a block that's not being discussed at the onset. And, and it kind of gets pushed to the end. We're trying to get that all up right, right in the front, so that everybody understands what we're going to do, what we need to get there, so we're all rowing in the same direction. And I think it's important to realize that most of our borrowers are specialists in one or two areas, but maybe not finance. And so the trust relationship is so important because, you know, you build this personal relationship and then, you know, at many places, the legal document might be just completely different. So just being super clear, right, is that kind of what you're talking about? You're exactly right. For a company that's selling into a, a large corporate that's other in our network, how do they typically think about finance, about working capital finance, about cash flow? And how does that kind of relate with us? They, they do a lot of different things. And their focus is, as it should be, is on running the business. And, and what we want to do is we want to take the cash flow and worrying about cash flow out of their hands. So we build that trust with them. And they're running their business. And, and we're worrying about the cash flow. And we're making sure that, that the collections come in and the proceeds and the remittances are properly applied. And the availability is there for them to borrow. So uh, they don't have to worry about whether it's there or not. It will be there if we've built that right relationship on transparency and trust, which we do. And, and it allows them to, to then run their business without the worry of uh, cash flow. Sounds like you're taking a lot of the, the fear on, on cash flow away from entrepreneurs. Yeah, and, and when they trust us and we're transparent with what we're going to do and how we operate, it does allow them to, to, to loosen that a little bit so that they can go focus on other things uh, and, and not always on that cash flow. In describing why you joined a fintech, you talked about changing a process, but what are some of the kind of older world uh, ideals that we're still applying? Fundamentally, uh, in secured uh, financing, there are lean positions and priorities. There are due diligence. Uh, you know, we need to evaluate the company. We need to evaluate their operating model. We need to understand the collateral, how the collateral works, and what is the value of the collateral. And we need to do that all in a compressed time frame. Uh, now, that doesn't mean we're taking shortcuts because we're addressing all of the same old credit concerns. We're just trying to compress that time frame and uh, find better ways to do it. Uh, from a, an old school disciplines and credit standpoint, we continue to have first lien positions on all the assets. We continue to uh, evaluate the company and its model and its financial performance. So we're still uh, trying to marry all of those disciplines with just a better and faster way to do it.